Oh, hey, Mr. J. Hey. Yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't really need that. You know, more professional. I will. Don't. It's just really hard, you know, because I really think that I'm catching some type of. Uh, never mind. I can't talk about that now. No, I mean, I'm sure you feel the same way. Okay? Do you? Do you think you do? No. I really am. Yeah. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to get you out of here, Mr. J. You deserve it. You really do. I'm gonna do my best. You shouldn't just be sitting there in that cell. You don't deserve it, no. You you have so many good qualities. Like, I don't know, I know you got a bad rap sheet, but I just, I feel like I really know you and I really can see inside of your soul and your essence and some reason, some stupid reason, I don't even know why. I really feel like I'm starting to get a connection. You know, like, I know I shouldn't, and I can lose my job. I'm not trying to, really. I, I just can't stop thinking about you. And if I get you out, maybe there's a chance, you know? Like, maybe we can be... Yeah, I know. Do you like it? Okay. So... Let me check out your sheet, Mr. J. Let's see here. Really. The picture of you. I know it's your mugshot. But you really look so dreamy. You really do. There's something about the way you're smiling. You're smiling so nice. Yeah. It's not going to be easy. Your rap sheet's pretty bad. I mean... You've done a lot of bad things, Mr. J. For some reason, I still think I kind of like you. Okay. Well, I can't stop what my heart's really feeling for you, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best to get you out of here. We're gonna declare you sane. That way you can leave because that pretty face, the pretty face doesn't belong behind bars, Mr. J. Really does it? doesn't bump. No. Okay. So. I'm just going to take a couple of notes. While I do a couple of psychological evaluations on you. Okay. I'm just going to do a couple tests. We've probably done them before, but. You know, I really. My pool in here is kind of. It varies. Sometimes, um, you know, people take me seriously and sometimes they don't. But I'm for certain. I'm for certain they're going to take me seriously and we're going to declare you sane, okay? So let's do a couple tests. Okay, so I got this pen right here. And I need you to follow it, okay? So follow it with your eyes. Whether it goes right or whether it goes left. You just gotta keep your eyes on it, and I'm gonna document, you know, kind of how sane you are, okay? So I'm gonna hold up this pen, look right at it, and follow it. Good. Very good, yeah. I'm going to lean in a little bit closer. Follow this. Hmm. Yeah, Mr. J, you really got to concentrate on the pen. I know. I know you think I'm pretty, but look at the pen. Is it serious? Are you following it? Yeah, it moves. I'm watching your eyes right now. Mm -hmm. Okay.
So that's good so far, Mr. J. Now we gotta keep it up, okay? Okay, so I have this light right here. I really need you just to follow the light, okay? Hold on, let me turn this light off. Here we go. Ready? Follow the light. Yeah, I might have just made it hard. That's for you, Mr. J. Follow the light, keep following. You're doing such a good job. Let me write that down. Pull my sleeves up a little bit. Just a little bit of skin for you. Ready? I'm gonna hold my finger and I'm gonna shine a light in your eyes. And I need you to just follow my finger. Ready? Well, Mr. J, your eyesight seems to look pretty good. I mean, your pupils weren't dilating too much. I mean, they were a little bit. And your eyes crossed a couple times. It, does, it doesn't really help your case. You know, with the whole same thing. I mean, just look in googly eyes. It doesn't like, try to work on them. Actually, while we're working on declaring your saying, Snuck in these. You can't tell anybody, please. That my job is really at stake, okay? I have these pills. These pills are gonna help you. Just, no, you don't have to take them when you're out, when you're out of the slammer. Just while you're in here, okay, Mr. J? It's really important. I'm just worried. If you don't take these, me and you might never be together, you know? I really want that. So please just, I'm just gonna open this up. These are just gonna kind of dull you down a little bit and make it easier for me to give you this diagnosis. Just until you're out, then you can stop them. No side effects, I promise. It's important. It really is because, like, my heart's aching, Mr. J. Okay. Just three pills. Once a day. Just in the morning. Okay, here. Just take these. Good. Alright. Now here. Here's some coffee. You can just take that. Just take that. Okay. Now take a nice sip. Good. Okay, now give me my cup back. Yeah, this cup's important to me. Alright, Mr. J. Now I have this thing that you can smell. Oh. You're gonna have to tell me what this smells like, okay? Smell that. 
I thought you might say that. It smells like pure love. And that's the love I have for you. <sighs> Mr. J, I'm gonna get you out of here. I'm declaring you saying right now. Let me write it. Give me paperwork. I'm gonna do it, okay? We're gonna hand this off to the higher-ups. I'm gonna get you out of here. When I do, you better not leave me high and dry, okay? Yeah, you just got some type of way just to make me fall for you, you know? I mean, I really shouldn't do this. And I shouldn't have got my heart involved in you. But I mean, how could I not? Alright, Mr. J, our meeting's over and thank you for coming. I'll see you next time. Hopefully out of here. That way, you know. Bye.